Hey everyone, I have a quick question for you. What does a Japanese action movie, an American psychological thriller, and a very popular science fiction movie all have in common? Well, none of these are available on a very popular streaming service that we all know. Now, some of these, for example, the Battle Royale and the Donnie Darko, you can get those on a different streaming service and you can rent or buy this on another streaming service. But in order to see all three of these movies, you're going to need to go to multiple streaming services, find out where they are, and then either see them and pay the subscription fee or have to rent or buy them. And here I have them all on Blu-ray. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I can play Blu-rays on my computer. All I need is an inexpensive piece of hardware to connect up to my computer and a piece of free software and I'm going to be able to watch any movies that I have on Blu-ray. And this is a great way if you collect movies or if you have some Blu-rays of movies that you really like to not have to worry about whether they'll be available to you on a streaming service when you want to watch them. An added bonus to being able to play Blu-rays is you can often pick up nice documentaries and learning material very inexpensively. Even your favorite movies, you can often find them at a bargain price in Blu-rays if you don't already have them. If you already have a Blu-ray player connected to a television or a game console that plays Blu-rays, then you're all set. But this is about connecting and playing Blu-rays on a computer. Because today's modern computers do not have optical drives. You just won't find them very rarely. So I need to have an external optical drive. And I picked up this one here. I'll link it down below. Inexpensive, but it plays CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. The only thing is you will need to install some software on your computer in order to get those Blu-rays to play. In my case, this, de this device here says it is not compatible with a Surface, but I have it working on my Surface. Didn't get it working on my iPad or my Chromebook, and it does say it's not compatible with those, but any regular computer and apparently my Surface, it will allow that to happen. You do need to install software. Let's go ahead and do that. The software I'm going to download is completely free. It's by Leowo or Leawo. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but I'll link down below for that as well. They do have a number of commercial products for doing things like backing up your Blu-rays and DVDs, doing different types of file conversions and such. I've been impressed with their free DVD player, so I might actually pick up some of that other software for that more advanced functions. But the free Blu-ray player, you can grab it for Windows or for Mac, and I'm going to grab the Windows version here. We'll go ahead and we'll download this version and then we'll install it. Now you will notice that there is also a Blu-ray ripper, a copy feature so you can back up especially videos and uh, movies that are particularly valuable. You may want to have a backup copy in case you run into scratching or damaged media. And then there's even a video converter utility which I actually find quite useful uh, for YouTubing. But the free one has now been downloaded and I'll go to my downloads and grab that. So here I am in my downloads. I'll just launch the program and do the regular install. Now it is important to note that there are a couple of gotchas when you're installing it. So for example, after I've installed the software, I want to make sure I have the Java runtime installed because that'll be important to show things like the DVD menu. You'll see that in a moment. Here's the install screen. I'm just going to go ahead and say install. It's all installed. We'll go ahead and launch. Now there's video tutorials on how to use the software and if I go into the software, you'll see, we'll bring this up from the other screen here, you will see that I have the software installed, but notice there's no Java runtime. So I'm going to go ahead and also install the Java runtime. Okay, so I have the Java runtime. We'll go ahead and install that and then we'll attach the external drive and look at a Blu-ray. Okay, so I've inserted a, a Blu-ray, in this case the Coral Reef, and you can see that the software has recognized it and I can go in and I can play it. There, there are a couple of things to bear in mind. First of all, there are additional features you can unlock by buying the Pro version to do things like back up your DVDs and Blu-rays. Of course, it's illegal to do anything where you distribute those illegally, but you can do backups depending upon the country that you live in. You'll see that it's now playing the, the video here, um, I just want to watch the video. If I pause it, I will get this nag message and you can see though that I can go in here and I can skip through different parts of the DVD until I get to the main menu. You'll notice here that it says that the mouse operation 
uh, menu is, is here. So I'll go here. That's this little menu here. You can move this off to the side here to allow you to control the environment here. So you can see here, if I go here and press enter here, I can go to the next section here. Let me just grab this here and hit play. So you can see here, I can go in and I can choose different uh, parts of the video here. I have the menu here and I can go into the Coral Reef Adventure. You can see here, I'll just fast forward it a bit here to about the middle of the, the video here and you can see, oh, they're just using Coral. I wanna go under the water. So every time you pause it, you will get that little nag message. So you do have to be aware of that, but you can see here that I'm able to navigate the menu. I'm able to go in. Uh, that, that pause menu can, it can be a little bit annoying, but you can get the pro version if it really bothers you. A lot of times what I'll do is if I'm watching a film here, I just wanna watch the film. So I'll just set it up to play from the beginning and just watch it. If I'm pausing it, then I will get that little message in there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that down. You can get the pro version and that'll get rid of that nag message, plus give you some additional features as well, as well as some of the other products they have. But there you go. I'm now able to play a lot of the different Blu-rays that I have. I'm able to play those on my computer, which is very handy. I also can play DVDs and CDs. So I have a nice little optical drive that I can now use to get access to all of that media that I can't find on streaming services. I can't get access to without having to buy it if it's even available. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.